guys, I'm going to do a really quick nursery tour and um, nappy stash video. Izzy's in bed, so I'm just going to do it quickly. And then I'm just going to go through from the living room. She's asleep in our room in there. So this is the nursery. It's first on the left, so there's the front door, a bit dark, you can't really see that. Um, not very big, but she only really comes in here to get her nappy change. She's still sleeping with us, so it's alright. we got all our furniture from Ikea. The less fixed sets, we've got the wardrobe, the changing table, the um, shelf and the toy box. This is also from Ikea and I don't like it but it was cheap so we got that one. Nappy cream, these are her foot imprints from when she was tiny. She was actually two months older when we did these so she was a lot smaller than that. Towel for drying her after a wash in the morning. Then on the shelf we have, these are glowy balls which we use to distract her if she's having a bit of a tantrum while we're trying to change a nappy and they take a mind off it. My old reading book, um, all of her books. This is her favourite and also my favourite, Giraffes Can't Dance. Um, I have a baby names book, a hypnobirthing book um, that I was reading and planning to do before I knew I had a caesarean. Before I knew I had to have a caesarean even. Baby signing book which we've just started doing. Um, in this box I have lots of random stuff. I have Infocol, little pots of pseudocrem that I pop in her changing bag, sheepish grins woffy, woffy wakers, <laughs> washy wafers, and um, that's for making your wipe solution up, uh, nasal aspirator, antibacterial spray, um, a brush, a nappy nipper, all sorts in there. Um, these are our wristbands from in hospital, mine and Izzy's, and that's her umbilical cord. And I know that's really gross but I couldn't bring myself to throw it away and I will make a memory box at some point. We have nappy bags, disposable wipes, ultra liners, um, these are Totspots liners, a vest extender, I do actually have two more of these but they're in the wash at the moment. Uh, in here I have baby vests, well these are baby grows for night time. Her socks, her bibs, um, small vests, um, I have long sleeve vests under here as well and then these are her trousers, her leggings and her tights. That's her wash basket, or well, everyone's wash basket actually. Sorry, just ignore this junk. This is my sewing machine that my mum bought me and then um, I have bamboo fabric in there to make some breast pads and stuff. That box up there is a box left over from when we were using disposable nappies. Um, I have disposable breast pads and wipes and that cassette is for the um, disposable nappy bin. That's just a Johnson's baby box that we had toiletries in. Pampas baby dryer that we use when she has nappy rash. These nappies on top here are from Mother Care. They're the disposable insert for their smart nappy and they actually fit the G nappy really really well. Um, or the Grovia shell actually. And they were down from £3.49 to £1.5. And they were also three for two. So I got three packs for £2.10. In the wardrobe we have clothes going from small ones that we need to use now to medium to large. These are her um, warm tops, jumpers, um, that's a snowsuit, a grow bag. We have a swim nappy there because we're taking a swimming next week sometime. That's a big inflatable thing for her as well. At the back we have a spare changing bag that was actually free, a carrier. In this box here I just have lots of random stuff. It's mainly weaning stuff so like tubs I have their nipple protection shields, I have Medela nipple shields which are a lifesaver when you start breastfeeding, I have bottles, I have tubs, all sorts in there. That's my close baby carrier. These are my G nappy disposable inserts that you can flush because you rip them down the side, I love them. This is my organised mess, <laughs> I have, um, these are bed sheets, I have towels and this is her um, changing mat cover. I have muslins and a nursing cover that I don't really use because I don't care anymore about people seeing me. I have um, bed sheets, uh, well, blankets, sorry. And then in here, this is empty because I've just sorted out the nursery. Um, we don't use this for anything really. This is just um, cardigans that I grab really quickly if we're going out somewhere. And these are actually presents for um, two women that we know that are having baby boys. Um, so this is one lot and that's another lot. This woman is being induced today. She's currently in labour. That's really exciting. They're both having little boys. 
Um, this is just a rocker vibrating chair that we didn't use very much. It's from Mums and Papas. It's really good, it just that it used to make her throw up and now she's a little bit too big for it. So we'll keep that for the next baby. It's nice and unisex in case we have a boy. This is our new gliding chair, which I am in love with. Um, and the footstool, which also rocks. Um, it's got a lovely pocket there to keep my drinking and everything. And we have the mobile over here because she likes to watch this go around um, while she feeds. Th that's a cross stitch of Angelina Ballerina that I made when I was pregnant and it probably took me from about 30 weeks until <laughs> she was born. So yeah, that took a while, but I'm glad I stuck with it. Um, we have a baby bath behind there that we don't use very much anymore. Um, this is just her car seat. Just pull that out of the way. Sorry, I've only just got home. Changing bag, that's a wet bag. Um, in here is just going to peek in lots of toys, full with toys already. Can you believe it? Right, so this second drawer here is full of nappies. These have been sold. There's a flip and four bum genius, a fuzzy buns, and a little landmark fibre. They just don't work for us, um, nothing wrong with them. Three motherese wraps, and I have one, two, three, four Gemini wraps and two top spots wraps. Lots of fleece liners. Um, I have two Nature Babies Bamboo Terry Squares. Wee Notions, Night Notions. That's just a hemp insert thing. These three are um, nappies by Minky. They're really good. At the back here I have two Wizard Duos with the um, Stay Dry inserts. Kawaii, good night heavy wetter. Not too impressed with this one. These are my favourite. I have um, three Ella's House Bum Huggers actually, but She's currently wearing one. She's asleep, so they're really good. She's a really heavy wetter and these don't leak. Right, in this one here, these are my hybrid nappies. This is a G nappy. It's in purple, it looks black, but purple. I have two Gravier shells, purple and a blue. This is the new hammock nappy, which has this really weird costume fabric, and it's a similar idea to the G nappy, really. Although it's very um, low in the rise, so. Maybe get the next size up, I would definitely get the next size up if I had more time again. These are just the little G pouches that you put your inserts in. These are the reusable um, G inserts with hemp and stay dry fleece on the outside. And the G nappy has a lot of bad reviews and I'm not really sure why because I love them but every baby's different I suppose. Pampas Baby Dry, these are all my disposable, sorry, so I have Pampas that Baby Dry. These are my G nappy inserts I showed you before. This is a hammock um, nappy insert, a disposable one that we just got in the trial back. And these are the only Grovia ones I have left. Um, these have gussets and I really love these, so I'll we'll have to get some more of those when they run out. They're quite handy to have in your changing bag if you don't have room for your reusable ones. On top of here I have my reusable wipes. These are Thirsty Giro's wipes that I use um, to wash her face in the morning. This is Rocking Green um, Pale Freshener, which isn't very good. This is just Johnson's Baby Lotion Talc. At the back there I have some cotton buds. These two are CJ's Butter Lotions. Um, I have Lullaby Baby and Cucumber Melon. Um, Lullaby Baby is my favourite, but that makes their skin really, really soft. Softer than the Johnson's, but I really like this one of the Johnson's. Um, this will land viscose, premium viscose liners. They're stay dry and they're really soft, like them. That's our Leslie's Boutique Hanging Bag. It's about 30 nappies in, and um, it's just really handy, really. Um, I also have my other wet bags like I mentioned before. This one I keep my wipes in. And this one has a dry zip at the front for your dry nappies. And a wet zip at the back um, where you put your dirty ones. My nappy bucket just stays there for when this one's in the wash. In this drawer here I have my inserts. So I have microfiber, hemp, these are loopy doos. I have one, two, three, four, five. I've got more of those but they're bamboo. That's an Issy Bear one, and these are my organic cotton insets, or doublers, whatever you want to call them. This is a little lamb wet bag, which really isn't very good either, the toggle doesn't work. Um, these are two Grovia inserts, the organic cotton ones. Um, I do have more of those, I have four in total, but they're in the wash. And then these two are um, the Stay Dry uh, boosters, they've covered in fleece. Right, now in here, I'm going to try not to talk about them too much. I've got three, um, they're real easies by Hip Hip Hip, here, Hip Hip Baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so I've got three of those. They're good for heavy wetters. I've got, um, 
wait a minute. Sorry, I just had to get these out of the um, wet bag that I took to my mum's. So I've got, um, this is a Rumpa Rouge, and so is this one. This one's microfiber, this one's hemp. I prefer this one, it's more absorbent. I have an Issy Bear in Doodle Cat. This is a Papaku, or however you pronounce that. Ugly but good. Um, green, what is it? Green Mountain Diapers with a suede cloth stay dry lining, which is really good, and I really like the pretty frills. I have two Itty Tutos. This is an Alva Baby, it's really cheap, but I just doubled that up with a Bamboo Booster and it works properly, really well for us. Um, this is a Nick and Nappy. This is a Dotty Box, also a really cheap one that's fantastic and has, is, well, no different to my more expensive ones. Um, this is a sized Bamboo Tea all in one, and I love this, but I'm going to have to size up soon. Um, just pop that over there. Right, in this one I have, these are my two blueberry minkies, so I have a purple purple and a blue. I have a Thirsties duo, which is meant to be a birth potty, but it's already nearly too small for us, so I don't believe that for a second. This is a Bonnie Bums. Um, that's okay, it's got like this weird, let me show you, it's got a weird um, insert to it. It's like a pre-fold system that pops in with a stay dry layer there, which I quite like actually. Um, this is a Kawaii Snazzy Minky. This is a, oh my goodness, Hat of a Hulu, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's got this really weird stretchy fabric, which we can't seem to get to fit it properly. So I don't know if it's just because she's too small or not. But um, This is a designer bums, which I love, but her legs are just a little bit too skinny still. And then this is these are three more Bum Genius 4.0s, which I think I'm just going to have to sell because they just don't work for us. It's really annoying because I love the patterns and the colours. Um, I think that's it. The only other thing is that we put stars on the ceiling not so long ago. Um, they're glow stars and she loves those. <laughs> Although it does have to be really dark before you can see them. Um, so, yeah. I think that is it. Um, so I'll see you soon. Bye guys.